So, we all know about Mark and Dreter Stegen's long-term injury, which is why the media space is full of discussions regarding what Barca should do and whom to trust for the number one position. Fortunately, we have our own opinion on the solution on this huge potential problem. Meet Aaron Yakubashvili, the 18-year-old monster of a goalkeeper from La Masia. Despite all the headlines blear that Barca must sign a new experienced goalkeeper and that without some weights of Chesney and Kaylor Navas, they won't be able to go through this season at the title-winning pace, we are saying the exact opposite. The Catalans need to continue to stick to their guns and trust La Masia. It's always the best option if they are not available. As of this moment, Hansi Flick's first choice will definitely be in Pena. Ahead of the game against Hetafe, the Barcelona boss assured of the club's full trust in their academy graduate. Well, turns out the first team has a nominal replacement for Iñaki, a 20-year-old prospect who stood out as the regular at Barca Athletic last season. Simply put, these two are the obvious candidates for the coaching staff to replace Ter Stegen. Believe it or not, there is one more secret option only a few people are mentioning right now, and it's Aaron, who is backed by experts who are following La Masia. In their opinion, it is Jakobashvili, who is the most gifted goalkeeper in the academy in recent years, and he's an almost identical copy of Marc Andre. Therefore, we should all be extremely careful watching these guys' progress, because you never know, maybe he might become the hot shot for the first team needs, just like Lamine Yamal, Pau Kubarsi, or Marc Bernal were in their time. One would assume that Hans-Dieter Flick has seen something in the 18-year-old guy since he was called up for the first team training sessions even before Ter Stegen's injury. If the academy keeper can convince the coach of his level and readiness, Barca's management may decide not to enter the transfer market to sign a new one at all. So, who is this Aaron Jakubashvili and why is there so much buzz about him behind the scenes? Let's get to know him better! Aaron was born on March 6, 2006 in Budapest, the capital of Hungary. There, he became passionate about football and started performing at the local club MTK Budapest. Jakubashvili always dreamed of making it big, which is why he was looking for options to develop his career further and eventually, on July 1, 2017, he joined a modest Barcelona club, Athletic Sand Host. Aaron was 11 years old back then. The footballer's mother was a key factor in this move, finding and getting a job at Barcelona. And that is how this fateful episode in our hero's life eventually happened. His father was born in Georgia and has an Israeli passport, which means he has quite a few options when it comes to international football. But Jakobashvili says he only wants to represent Hungary. The goal of his switch to Athletic Sand Host was clear. The lad wanted to get closer to the radar of Barcelona scouts, who constantly monitor the youth of other local clubs in order to poach the best ones to their site. And that's exactly what happened next. A year later, on July 1, 2018, Jakobashvili was enrolled in La Masia. Needless to say, it was a dream come true for the boy to join Barcelona at the age of 12. <laughs> wow! Since then, the goalkeeper's gradual rise has begun. For the first time, Aaron was seriously discussed in public when, in November 2023, Xavi called the Hungarian up to the first team training session and included him in the squad list for the away match against Rayo Vallecano. We should recall that Jakubashvili was 17 years old at the time. Aaron's success is pretty noticeable in his homeland, so no wonder why the guy is constantly called up to the ranks of various youth national teams – U17, U18 and U19. By the way, Jakubashvili traveled to the U17 European Championship, which took place in the spring and summer of 2023, the one where Lamin Yamal and Pau Kubarsi also played. Ok, let's move on. Jakubashvili's build is not bad for a shot stopper. He's slightly shorter than Ter Stegen. Mark Andre is 187 cm tall, while Aaron is 185 cm tall. But let's not forget that the Hungarian is still very young and will only continue to grow. Who knows, maybe he will reach 190 centimeters. 
The fact that Yakubashvili is not an average goalkeeper can also be proven by the fact that in 2023, the reputable The Guardian magazine included Aaron in the top 60 best young players aged under 18. The Hungarian-born goalkeeper has been considered a top prospect in La Masia for five years now. The newspaper wrote then describing the team. Agile and blessed with great reflexes, Jakubashvili is also excellent with both feet, a must for a modern goalkeeper. He is also focused and calm. Some say he may even be too calm. Notes journalist Michael Johin. Indeed, Aaron is often referred to as a highly calm goalkeeper who inspires confidence in his defenders. This makes one of the reasons why they call him Ter Stegen's region at Barcelona. At some point, he was also compared to Manchester City's Ederson, which also speaks volumes about his style of play. Jakubashvili shares the style of a German goalkeeper, which significantly increases his chances of making a name for himself in the main roster and attracting the attention of club bosses, saving Blaugrana, who are going through difficult financial times, tens of millions of euros meant to recruit a new long-term solution for the number one position. Aaron has amazing skills in the ball. He is able to deliver a pass of any complexity, under pressure or not, from 10 or 50 meters. You see, in this aspect he is superior to both Peña and Astralanga, and if Flick needs this type of keeper, we have a feeling that Jakobashvili is in for a great challenge in the upcoming months. Some experts feel that Aaron should already take the number one slot, whereas Iñaki Peña should prepare himself for a transfer at the end of the season. However, both Astralaga and Cochin, an 18-year-old American goalkeeper who is currently in the infirmary and is expected to return at the end of October, are highly regarded within the club. By the way, folks, if you want us to tell you about another young top Barca goalkeeper, Diego Cochin, then we'll kindly ask you to vote with your likes. Here's how it goes. If this video gets more than 1,000 likes, we'll immediately start writing a new script. The choice is yours. As for the goal line game, there are no problems here either. Aaron chooses his position well, has the jumping ability of a cat, and helps the team out in the trickiest situations. In Juvenil's recent UEFA Youth Champions League match, Jakubashvili made a brilliant save, taking a hard shot after rebound from the crossbar, which immediately went viral on social media. The team made quite a splash last season when he made five saves in six UEFA Youth League group stage meetings, or, in other words, he secured five clean sheets in the UEFA Youth Champions League. Well, as for the ongoing campaign, the start for Barca U19 and Jakubashvili was rather unsuccessful. Like the senior team, the U19 teams lost to AS Monaco, only with a score of 4-3. Jacob, as well as the rest of the squad, cannot put this performance on their record. Nevertheless, it was still an experience, and now Aaron is standing at one of the most crucial stages of his career. Hans Dieter Flick sees great potential in Jakobashvili and regularly calls him to first team training. Following Ter Stegen's injury, Barcelona are experiencing a domino effect, in which any of the La Masia goalies could get their piece of cake. Iñaki Pena will still be number one for now, but he is being pressured by Astralaga and Jakobashvili. Moreover, Aaron, who previously was not the first choice option at Barca Athletic, could potentially become one and significantly improve his numbers of minutes. First in Segunda B, the Spanish third tier, and then in the first division. Mind that it may happen only if Peña does not deliver, Astralaga fails to convince Flick, and the club decides not to sign a new goalkeeper. Today, Aaron's contract situation is a concern. His deal with the Catlans expires in the summer of 2025, and the parties are currently in a wait and see position. If Jakobashvili makes a breakthrough this season, he will be renewed, but so far, the positions of Astralaga and Kachin look more convincing. Ander has a contract until the summer of 2026, and Diego until the summer of 2028. Nevertheless, things can change quickly, and the Whiskey basically has his future in his hands, most likely becoming Barcelona's starting 11th pick in the UEFA Youth Champions League, as well as receiving regular minutes at Barca Athletic. One thing we know for sure, this guy's potential is enormous, and he is stylistically very similar to Ter Stegen. In fact, 
that's where his key advantage lies. You see, in recent years, Mark Andres' strong side has been his ability to play with his feet and build Barca's attacking play with one precise pass over 50 meters. If you are not good enough in these components, you may have big problems at this club. Therefore, who knows, maybe we will see another big football breakthrough of De La Masia, and it'll be not just anyone, but Aaron Jakobashvili, an 18-year-old Hungarian boy wonder who came to Barcelona in 2017 to fulfill his dream. Guys, leave us a like if you were impressed by this La Masia beast and want Aaron to get his chance in the main roster. Share your impressions and how would you rate our today's hero on a 10-point scale in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to check out other videos related to FC Barcelona and its impressive football monsters. Inside Football was with you. We watch football from a different angle. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.